Hello and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 17 video today. Today is going to be a little bit different. Um, I wanted to talk about an idea that I haven't necessarily come up with myself. It's more of an idea that's been thrown around in FIFA for a while now. Um, a lot of people, I won't say a lot, but a few people have kind of mentioned it and I really wanted to play off this idea, kind of um, put my own little twist on it. So what I've done is I've created a few graphics for this kind of idea to more visualize what I'm trying to tell you. I think it'd be really pointless me just putting gameplay in the background uh, and, and talking over it because you'd have absolutely no idea what's, uh, what's going on. So I put those there. They're not the best. I think they work for what they are, but you know, I'm not a graphic designer, so you know, don't expect amazing things. But um, I think, well, first things first. Um, no, I think that's pretty much it. So let's jump into the first screen today which is going to be the foot creation this is where you create your masterpiece otherwise known as my foot card that's what it's called um, basically the idea behind this is you have your own FIFA ultimate team item you can choose the name what they look like weak foot you know as you can see on screen position defender which could consist of uh, left back right back center backs goalkeeper defensive midfielder uh, midfielder being cam center mid left mid, right mid, and forward being striker centre forward, right wing, and left wing, so standard, standard stuff. But um, you have your own FIFA Ultimate Team item, you choose everything about it, and it progressively upgrades. The more you play with it, the more you do really well with it. Uh, if you're a striker, if you score goals, your finishing's gonna go up, you know, that kind of, that kind of stuff. Um, very similar to pro clubs. I've taken a few ideas from pro, uh, from pro clubs because I think Pro Clubs has a huge potential that EA haven't really tapped into just yet. They've, they've made a few vital changes this year, which I think are massive, and they, they're they so good, and they work so well for Pro Clubs, because um, the, the way it works, basically, if you play well with your Pro, uh, you know, finishing, reactions, jumping, stamina, that, you know, that kind of stuff does get upgraded after the game, so... I think that's really important to have that kind of aspect with this idea, essentially. Um, but anyway, we now have a skill set, which is, again, very similar. You've got three unspent skill points, which you can put towards whatever you like. So you've got a, a few um, few examples down below here. You could choose to upgrade your weak foot from one star to two star and have two other traits, or you could choose to put it all towards weak foot and have a four star weak foot but nothing else so you've got a base card as is with you know everything being 50 um, and then just a four star weak foot work whereas you could have say three star weak foot and improved finishing so you could have like 65 finishing to kind of get things going you know the possibilities are basically endless you could have better physical improved heading that's kind of what you're going for and a two star weak foot or Three star weak foot and finesse trait, for example. So, you know, it's totally, totally up to you. Either way, let's jump on to the next screen, which is going to be the collection book. I don't know why, or I don't know the, the uh, logistics why they can't have a collection book in FIFA. I know there's um, gambling and, and such, but I don't know if this falls onto that kind of category. So, I, I don't know, because I know FIFA did have a collection book back in. FIFA 12 was it or 13? I, I didn't play them so I don't really know but um, I know it had one back in the day and it'd be so cool to have it especially I think it works so well for this kind of idea. Um, as you can see on screen we've got the non-rare bronze, got non-rare silver, non-rare gold, rare gold and various informs with his ones to watch item, player of the month, man of the match, team of the season and a footies item as well. So you might be saying to yourself why is there five uh, inform items of your FIFA Ultimate Team card. Well, um, I'll talk about this again in just a second uh, when we go on to the next screen, but I think it's it'd be really cool to earn yourself an inform by completing a challenge. So you complete the challenge that's you know not too easy, uh, and you earn yourself a upgraded, boosted inform item just like in real life. If a player, if a player plays really well or does some amazing stuff, they earn themselves a you know, inform item in Team of the Week. So I don't think I don't see why you shouldn't be able to do that, and I don't see why you shouldn't be able to earn multiple different informs. Um, because in real life you can do that. If Messi plays really well over the course of a month, he might have 
two or three. That might be stretching a bit, but he might have two in forms. Um, you know, other people who are a bit lower rated might be able to earn three, four, etc., etc. So um, I think that that would be vital, if anything. Um, player of the month could be. Uh, uh, it is a vague idea, but it could be a competitive aspect towards this this kind of mode. So if you've played the best with your MyFoot card in, you know, over February in regional, I'd say, not worldwide. If we do it regional, so in the UK, if you've played the best or got on top of the leaderboards, you earn yourself an exclusive boosted player of the month. Possibly could be a thing. Um, again, I think it'd be too difficult if it was worldwide because you know that'd be just impossible um so you know that is uh that is that maybe we you know I, who knows but uh man of the match i'll talk about again in just a second team of the season i again i don't know how this one would work totally possibly through a challenge that could arise um or could be the ea give it to you for free when a team of the season comes around uh, so when they release most consistent they just give you a 92 rated striker uh, again I can't see that happening because EA don't really give us stuff for free but um, it could be a thing who knows the last one is footies same principle when footies are released you earn yourself a, um, a footies item could be quite cool um, so there is there is that let's move on to the next screen which is going to be the uh, what should we do let's do the foot hub now which you can see this is the place you go to um, check out your stats for your foot item so you can see how many challenges you completed how close you are to the next one uh, maybe you can track certain challenges um, that kind of stuff you can see 50 out of 300 completed already I would hope there would be more than 300 that seems a little bit too low but it is just a placeholder you can also um, upgrade your player and change your appearance put skill points where you want them to go that's kind of where you go to do that um, so there we go let's move on to the challenges section of this idea so with this idea there's going to be a lot of ultimate team aspects I think it's really important to um, coexist with the original game you don't want to separate you know these two modes too much because just like with FIFA 14 and they they included the World Cup uh, update um, they still you know coexisted with the original game even though it was vastly different they still included what was it the gold packs so when you uh, when you opened a world cup pack you got yourself a free gold pack every single time so um i think it's really important to keep those those aspects in the game and include them with this with this idea so um Let's talk about the, the categories up, uh, up top first of all. So you've got Mastery, Advanced, Gold, Silver and Bronze. The um, the Bronze works like this. So you got a, when you go into Bronze category, you've got a wide array of challenges to complete uh, that try and take your player item from, let's say, the starting rating of 60 all the way up to 64. And once you reach 64, you unlock Silver, which tries to take your... Uh, player rating from 64 rating to uh, 74 I do believe and once you reach 74 rating you unlock gold category in advance and mastery so gold of course tries to take you from 74 all the way up to you know gold tier players so like 90 95 could be a good capping point or possibly 99 that could be just for the uh, elite tier players if they play it that much with them um, with my foot card essentially so and uh, last but not least advanced and mastery advanced works just the same as SPCs so you know they're just more difficult same kind of principle uh, and mastery is once you completed everything before that advanced gold silver and bronze you unlock mastery to uh, just get some of those elite tier rewards I think it's I think it'd be really cool to, ha uh, to have something that isn't like because uh, okay the way to try and explain it is foot champions the best players the best of the best can earn some exclusive and high god tier rewards um but not everyone plays for champions so it'd be really nice to have something that isn't you know that kind of competitive fifa who you know for the people who don't play it to have the chance at getting some high level god tier rewards maybe not like the legend plus 44 red informs but um you know possibly like a, a three inform pack so from this team of the week you get three informs 
that'd be really cool. Of course, they wouldn't be easy. They'd be extremely difficult. So that um, that would be really, really cool to see. Okay, so I think we're pretty much uh, pretty much done at this point. The last thing I wanted to talk about is the upgrade section. So you can see on screen, it's very similar to pro clubs. Again, I think this kind of aspect of pro clubs was so incredibly cool. It was such a nice feature to add um, where you can earn skill points and put them towards certain aspects of your pro. So if you wanted better pace, you could do that. It wouldn't just be a matter of you playing the game and just, you know, you have to complete this certain challenge. Like, what was it back in the, I can't remember what it was, but like beat 10 defenders to get like a certain upgrade. And um, so pointless, so, so utterly pointless. Such a nice revamp this year. Um, again, pretty much the same same principle. I think a lot of this, uh, a lot of this idea does stem from pro clubs because it's, it's pretty much the same thing, just on ultimate team. Um, you've got the skill set on the side, attributes, traits and skills, you know, etc, etc. It's just where you go to view everything, view your challenges, what you want to do for like upgrades. Um, again, I'd love to see more challenges per category because in pro clubs you only have, um, I think it's like six or seven per category, some not even that. So it'd be nice to see a huge array of, um, you know, just more things to kind of make your pro more unique. But either way, there we go. So there is the My Foot Card item. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If there's any anything I've kind of missed, do let me know in the comment section below. That'd be absolutely amazing, of course. Uh, do let me know as well if there's anything you'd personally like to see as, or included in the my foot item kind of thing so if you had your own fifa ultimate team card what would you love to see if there's anything i haven't included in this video so hopefully you have enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching and as always until next time